Hi teachers. During this time of distance learning, our Empowering Writers content team has created new material for your continued instruction. We understand that this is new territory for many and hope this will provide the needed support for your students to be able to solidify important writing and reading skills. We offer a wide variety of lessons that include clear instructions, the supportive visuals and reference sheets students are used to seeing on our classroom walls or in their writing journals, as well as related read-alouds, videos, and website links. As you open up your hub guide, you will now see additional topics in the curriculum overview on the left-hand side of the screen. Distance learning student assignments and editing and revising assignable lessons for Google Classroom. Underneath the planning guide, each section of that genre resource and all student pages are still here. Since the hub guides default to the first topic of your curriculum overview, you can now see the distance learning student assignments on the right hand side. Notice underneath there is a short explanation of what that section includes and some of the sections include updates. You'll want to take note of these so that you know when we've added new content or fixed systems issues. Let's take a look at the quick writes at this time. In this section, students will practice mechanics, parts of speech, figurative language, vocabulary, and genre techniques using short answer responses. You have the option to use the Google Classroom users box or Microsoft users. If you open up Google Classroom, you will be able to make a copy of each of the assignments as you wish. Simply click on the copy and it will ask you to make that copy for your students where you will see the assignment. Notice in the slides, we have included places for student response with text boxes. The prompts used in these quick writes are relevant to students' worlds around them right now, mainly in response to their home environments. For Microsoft users, you will see that once you access a lesson, Microsoft will give you those prompts needed to make it your own. You'll click to access the Microsoft form, then we'll be prompted to duplicate it at the top of the screen. The next section is lessons of the month that we have revised for distance learning. They cover a wide range of skills and also include the necessary digital resources. I'd like to point out in this section that as we give the explanation of that lesson underneath, you'll also see that we've included the supporting resource where that foundational lesson comes from, as well as the specific skills that are included. So for a mouse in the house, you can see that the supporting resource is the narrative comprehensive guide. This lesson was adapted from the suspense section and then use several of the lessons throughout. Let's take a look at the Be A Light Challenge. This is a narrative lesson related to theme. On slide two, you'll notice that the teacher has inserted a video explaining her inspiration for this lesson. We would encourage you to upload your own videos, either for demonstrating the skills or even just talking to your students to explain your expectations. The supports you see included continue as the video for Be A Light allows them to listen to the song. The lyrics are also included before we ask students to determine the theme of the song. Once they've determined the theme from the song lyrics, then we want them to make connections to the theme by filling in the slides that follow. This is an example of how each of the components have been completed. So students will first start by inserting their theme and then providing a definition of that theme. They will then select images that represent the, what the theme means to them. Followed by explaining what it looks like and why it's important. Connections to quotes. Connections to other song lyrics to literature, and to personal experiences. At the end, they're given their challenge. How can they make a difference in their own communities? So they'll include their plan here on the last slide. As we move into Skill Focus Fun Around the House, I'll continue to show you examples. Skill Focus Fun Around the House can be used for daily or writing assignments or even week-long challenges. 
Shut Down Your Screen is a collection of at-home activities. It's a printable, no tech required packet designed to be a stimulating and fun vehicle that will empower students not only to chronicle their best days and experiences, but also to record the ordinary events around them during this time in extraordinary ways. They'll also have the option to have art activities that match. So as we look at this activity, please note that in the upper right hand corner, there is a download original button. This allows you to print and then make copies for those who need it. The first page is a parent page, giving them instructions for the assignment, as well as why we've asked kids to shut down their screen sometime during their period at home. This is followed by a student page that does the same thing, telling them what this journal of daily entries can do for them and what supplies to pack along with it. Each activity then gives an explanation, a description, possibly an outline, some including samples. Another activity I will share with you in the Skill Focus Fun Around the House is called the Food Package Challenge. In the Food Package Challenge, students are going to practice their informational genre writing skills, elaboration, or detail generating questions. In the food package challenge, we're asking kids to go into their pantries, refrigerators, their cabinets, to look to see how producers have explained their product through what does it look like and why is it important. So you will notice as students look at this particular cereal box, the what does it look like is included right here on the side of the box, as well as the why is it important. This also shows up in a couple more places on the box. What does it taste like? What does it look like? Why should your family buy it? So finally, students are given the task to find three more food packages. They'll then upload an image of that package and provide their own sentences explaining what it looks like, smells like, tastes like, sounds like, or feels like, and then why is it important. A simple but fun activity. In the integrated unit, we have process pieces for expository, narrative, and argument writing that connect with a selected theme or topic. You may choose a topic that you used before you left the classroom, or maybe you want to choose a current issue. The other choice you have to make is whether you will use all six weeks of instruction or just assign one genre at a time. As you look through this lesson, you notice that we provide the response opportunities for the students either through Google Slides or through PowerPoint. But below are your instructions as the teacher. Throughout these instructions, we give you sample ideas on what the kids can write about as well as a way to support your own learning the teacher background videos that are listed on the right hand side of your screen so that you can continue your learning during this time as well. If you would like these instructions in a PDF format so you can print them, they are located at the top of the page. As we look at this integrated unit for the students, you will be able to see that you can copy and paste a set of slides or you can use all of the slides. As we look at this expository writing project, you can see that we walk the student all throughout the process. So maybe you include videos of you modeling or maybe you're actually allowed to meet with your students virtually throughout the day. They'll simply record their ideas on each of the slides. Notice that any of the instructional tools, graphic organizers, instructional notes, sentence starters, techniques, or questions are included on each of these slides. Once the student reaches the end of the essay or the story, then we give them one more slide to include any graphics that might relate. Finally, we have the virtual trip journal. In the virtual trip journal, we're giving kids opportunity to leave their homes virtually. So as we look at this particular assignment, you'll notice that after we provide instructions to the students, they can see their selection of destinations. 
Maybe they want to go to a zoo, a farm, a museum, an aquarium, or a different state. As they work through the journal, there's a place for them to put the date, which website they've chosen. They then read the prompt and fill in their entry. Instructional supports are included on the side, and some of the assignments also have a sample response. In addition to these distance learning lessons, we've also provided you some of the editing and revising lessons. There are two locations for these lessons. Notice at the bottom of the distance learning lessons, those of you that use Microsoft or an LMS other than Google Classroom will access those lessons here. Each lesson gives you the opportunity to see where the lesson originated from, the objective of the lesson, and then allows you to assign out the skill powers and the student pages. Notice that the student pages answer key comes first, followed by the actual student pages. So if we want to assign this out to kids, we will open the PowerPoint, then we can copy the URL into our platform. This will give access to kids through iSpring. Likewise, as you assign the student pages, you will be able to download the originals and then upload them into your LMS. For those of you that are using Google Classroom, you will return to the curriculum overview and click on editing and revising assignable lessons. Now you can see that each of those lessons is listed below on the right hand side of the screen. The first link gives the students instructions for how to complete each assignment using the toolbox tools. If you want to provide this to your students, you can simply download the original so that it can be provided. As you get into each of the lessons, you'll see that you're in the student view at this time. So the students will see the lesson that they have, have the included skill power that relates to provide the instruction, and then is followed with the student activity. The tools are on the left hand side of the screen so that the students can respond directly onto the page before they submit it back to you. To assign these lessons, click on the three dots to the right of the title. You will be able to assign this resource by opening this up to the classes you wish to assign it to and clicking the assign button in the upper right hand corner.